Hey guys, what's up? So, I thought I'd do an experiment, and I wanted to see what Marlin sees when the sensualist homie is triggered, uh, or the stall guard. So right now, I have my uh, probe connected to my Z probe right there. Or excuse me, not Z, my, my X probe right there. This little red clip right here, if you can see it. Um, it's connected to the diag port pin on the driver, and then my negative is connected to my uh, one of my MOSFETs. Uh, look at the signal, and that's my multimeter. And this is Simplify 3D. I'm just using this to uh, home the uh, X right there. And uh, let's take a look at this. All right, I'm gonna bring it off about 10. And then that way, we get a couple seconds here. All right, so I'm gonna home the X, and we'll see what's up. Get this in a position where you can see it. Also played this in slow motion too. There we go. Home X. It's hard to see. It happens so fast. Let me do it again. You can see the voltage change, but I don't I don't think this thing is actually fast enough to pick it up, so I should probably try this with my oscilloscope. One more time. So, the, one of the times I actually, uh, it came back pretty fast, I could see that it was, uh, saying about three volts, somewhere three to five volts, I can't really tell for sure, but, um, so that's how it sends back the, uh, well, it's obviously a normally open circuit, because I'm not getting any volts right now, so that's actually what's sending the trigger back to Marlin to tell it that's where the end stop is, you know, that's where the, uh, that's the end of the, uh, probe there, so. All right, that, that was kind of cool. All right, let's try that on the fluke. There it goes. Boom. All right. All right, so my guess is that it's sending out back a 5-volt trigger, and that's actually what's activating the end stop, so... And that's typically how it goes with the usual manual end stop, so... All right, cool.